There you are. I was just thinking about you. Well, I got my entry to the hashtag 2019 openers open, and so I wanted to show it off to you. You gonna come help me out, Peach? Come on, let's make a video. So hang on to your hats. Right, Peaches? We couldn't get you trained to open up the beer bottle. So I had to make my own opener. It would have been good, huh? Well, here's the original. This sat on a shelf next to my grandma's kitchen window for just about forever. I always liked this thing, even before I ever had a cockatoo. I always thought this was the neatest thing. So put that in there like that. So what I did was, I first made a silicone mold of this and made a polyurethane resin casting so that I could carve it and bring the details back out. The details are not that great on this. So I recarved that and then I made another mold with the high heat silicone and I was able to pour some zinc into that mold that I got from the local scrap dealer, a bunch of old plumbing parts. And here's what it looks like all painted like peaches. Well, it's such a fun project this turned out. I I wanted to make a copy of of this for the longest time because I really liked it, but I didn't know how. I think I got introduced to casting from uh, Jimmy Porter over at Stewart Arts. And then lately I've been watching the, the Craftsman's videos. He, he just recently came out with a video on uh, how to, I think he was, he was pouring pure, but he was using the high heat silicone. So there's that. Well, I guess we better see if we, see if it'll open up a bottle of beer or something. Well, maybe Peaches is going to have a go at it. You want to try? Come on, let's try. You just take that cap off like that. Want to try? Come on, try it. All right. Let's try and open this thing up. Oh, look at that. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Well, I want to show you what I got going on here. I got my uh, cockatoo bottle opener here that I'm trying to make a mold of. Uh, I'll put some uh, Fimo clay. <laughs> Boy, that stuff is hard. My hands are all worn out trying to get that stuff kneaded up. I would highly suggest you use a, a softer clay. Okay. Well, I pulled this thing out. I'm actually going to use this. But this might be a little more delicate. I had to push, press pretty hard, so I wanted to use the, the metal one. This might break if I pressed real hard. So this this will be making the first half. I'll mix up my uh, I got the smooth on mold max 60. So that's what I'll be pouring in here in just a bit. I'm gonna take my little tools and and push that clay right up against it before I pour pour the silicone in there. I made a silicon mold and and then made this thing and I was able to sharpen up all the features all the little details especially the eye and the feet and the feet weren't very well defined on this one at all you can't even hardly see them well I'm just about ready to Mix up my silicone and pour the first half here. You got the silicone. Boy, that stuff stains your fingers. You better wear gloves. 
There's the silicone, there's the hardener. I got, um, actually, here's my silicone. I got 200 grams of silicone here and uh, six grams of hardener. So I gotta mix it for three minutes and degas it and we'll see what happens. I'll make sure you can see. I found a little smaller box, so <laughs> it pays to use as little silicone as possible. This stuff is expensive. So. Well, I got the silicone in there. That box was kind of bowing out quite a bit, and <laughs> that makes the area bigger, so you don't want that. I put that pieces of some plywood to stiffen it up and I probably should have done that beforehand or used thicker cardboard and I degassed the silicone before I put it in there for it says three minutes so we'll let that cure for 24 hours and we'll see what happens okay I got this thing <laughs> out of the box and I went around with my pocket knife and and cut off all the stuff that was flapping around or whatever so that's one half it seemed to have come out okay a little concerned about this little area it's, I didn't quite get it halfway in there I gotta uh, spray this with some kind of a release agent. The Craftsman, he used Vaseline, but I don't have any Vaseline, so I should have some, I guess. Everyone should have some, huh? I got some Carmax. Oh, maybe I'll. That's what I'll do. I'll put some Carmax on there. <laughs> that should work. It's gotta be Vaseline based. All right, well, I'll check back in when I get the other half done. Well, I wanted to show you this mold. I've got the other half poured. And I've already cast one. I was able to cast it on the second try. The first try, I didn't have the metal clean enough. There's too much junk in there, so it didn't form correctly but the second cast worked <laughs> pretty darn good I was quite pleased with how it came out I just uh, this is zinc and I just put it under the wire brush a little bit and got off all that red residue like a million bucks it's kind of heavy it's heavier than aluminum zinc is that's kind of neat. Well, I wanted to show you this mold and show you. It's not very good light that way. Show you how I cut these. Well, you can see the. I think they call it the sprue, where I poured in the metal right here. I made a, a little vent right there. Let any gas out. I also made a vent. You can't see it on this side, it's on this side. I made a vent all the way down at the bottom. Not that big, just enough to let some air out. And I made a little vent right here too. Going from here to here. So the air could escape. I'm just trying to make it as easy as possible. You can see the, the vent right here a little better. I could have taken it out a little sooner. Unfortunately, I lost all the footage of me melting the plumbing parts. The file got corrupted. There's a lot of smoke. <laughs> Make sure you wear a respirator.
Let's see how this one looks. Yeah, I think it's a little better than the other one. You can see how the vent holes worked on here. Oh, I'm pleased, I think. Looks a little funny here. Well, that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comment section down below. And uh, I sure appreciate SW Dweeb for putting on this contest. A lot of fun, I think. So, I sure appreciate you stopping by. Take care, friends. I'll see you down the trail. Good bird.